Okay, so as promised, here is, let me get my Starbucks. I have Starbucks today. It's a mango dragon fruit refresher with water instead of lemonade. Um, but as promised, here is my, I don't know if it's long awaited or long dreaded or, but long time coming chit chat, get ready with me about why I left for half of the year, basically. Ah, so if you guys want to see that, please stick around. All right, so I'm going to start with the Smashbox primer. Um, if I'm not discussing a lot of products, I will try and at least like have the names pop up across the screen. Um, but this one is the mattifying primer. Um, so basically the last video I filmed other than my little like shop my stash video that I just did was in January. And in January, like at the beginning of the year, January was just a really kind of bleh month for me. I was not doing good mentally at all. Um, so I was just trying to like get my mental health in order and everything. And I was trying to like haul ass to get um, enough money together to be able to get a car. So that was basically January and I just... In February, I get a car. I bought a 2013, or the bank and I bought a 2013 Nissan Rogue um, SUV. It was all wheel drive. I really liked the car, right? Everything's going great in February. I quit Ulta in February. I quit working at Ulta because I got a better opportunity with a former manager of mine. Um, to go work at Family Dollar as the assistant store manager, right? So I quit at Ulta because it's kind of getting to be a little bit too much of a drama fest there for me. And, um, you know, it was a better opportunity. It was more money, like a lot more money, more hours. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to take the opportunity and go. So I left. At this time, I was also trying to get my um, pharmacy tech certification. Why did I bring that down so low? Through Rite Aid. Because if you don't know, in Michigan, you do have to be, I think it's in every state now, you have to be certified to do pharmacy technician, like to even be allowed in the pharmacy. You either have to be a licensed pharmacist, a licensed pharmacy tech, or a certified pharmacy tech. The difference between a licensed pharmacy technician and a certified pharmacy tech is one goes through the state, um, which is the licensed one. So like my friend Jennifer, she's a state licensed pharmacy tech. She can go work at any pharmacy in Michigan it doesn't just have to be like a Rite Aid or a Walgreens. She could go work for CVS if she wanted to. She could go do a compounding pharmacy if she wanted to. She could do whatever because her license is good everywhere there is a pharmacy in Michigan. Um, my certification is only good at Rite Aid. It's like the equivalent of a state test, but it's only good at Rite Aid. Um, but anyway, so I'm studying, I'm studying, I'm studying, trying really, really hard to finish up the last little bit of PTU that I had. And everything's going great with my car. Well, not great. Like a week after I bought my Nissan, the starter went out. So that was $118 because thank God I had a warranty on it. Um, so like the starter got replaced and everything. And, you know, life goes back to normal, right? I'm just, I'm so busy at this point working two full-time jobs that I didn't honestly have time to film very much. I was trying to, but at the same time, it became to the point where it was, do I sleep? Do I film? Or do I, do I, do I not sleep and film or do I sleep? and go to work with like a semi-decent head on my shoulders. 
so I chose to sleep instead of film. Then, March 3rd of 2023, I'm at Family Dollar by myself at night because I was closing by myself that night. I wasn't even supposed to be there at night, but the person that was closing had called in and I had told the GM at the time that I would stay so she could go home and rest because she had been there all day. March 3rd, somebody walks in probably a half hour, hour before we close with nothing, walks out with a bunch of stuff that they didn't pay for. And I'm standing at the register checking out somebody else. And the only reason I even noticed was because they ran into the outdoor because I had locked the outdoor already. Um, I do that. Sometimes I will lock the outdoor to um, kind of like just control traffic a little bit. And then, you know, so that happens. I kind of like call my brother freaking out about everything and stuff because I was nervous at that point. Like the family dollar where I work at is not in the worst part of town, but it's not the best either. So there's that. And then I'm getting ready to close. Like I've got the doors all locked and everything, counting my money. My safe is under $150. Hello, Darren Bear. And I call my GM freaking out, freaking out. Because, you know, you can't have your safe be that short, otherwise you can get fired. And it's like a big no-no trouble. She told me where to find the money at, and thankfully I found it. But I was just, you know, really freaking out. And then I get out to my car. And at this point, it's 10 o'clock at night. I get out to my car, and my sister Anna is texting messaging me calling me she's contacting me and is like hey are you on your way home yet or are you at home and i'm like no i just got out of work why she's like well have you heard about leo now you all have seen my leo darling the cat but she also has a dog named leo so i ask her i'm like your leo or my leo and she says your leo i'm like no what happened did he die she's like yeah he was run over by a car and i'm worried about mom having a stroke so, it just, like, I was shocked that my, my Leo darling had been murdered, essentially, is what it is. And you, people can say I'm being dramatic and stuff, but that's what happened, was, you know, we later found out, based on people who had watched, it happened. Leo was a barn cat his entire life, so he was an indoor-outdoor cat. Now, I have personally watched this cat look both ways before he crosses the street because he, he you know he was almost 12 years old he wasn't a stupid kitty um but I guess what happened is the fact that he was sitting underneath the neighbor's truck because they had rabbits in their yard that come through and Leo liked to eat them he was sitting over there underneath the truck the neighbor started their truck Leo ran out and he ran out into the road where I live. It's a residential area. You're only supposed to go like 25 miles an hour. Somebody came zooming down the road and hit him and sent him flying into something. I don't even know what, but they sent him flying. And rather than stopping to see if the cat that they had just hit was okay, they just kept going. The male lady got out of her her mail truck and um, sat with him and held him while he died. Um, and stuff. We found all this out after the incident. But anyway, where I'm going with this is... Um, so Anna asked me, hey, have you heard about Leo? I'm like, no, did he die? She's like, yeah, he was hit by a car and I'm worried about mom having a stroke. And I'm, I sat in my car for a few minutes and I'm like, okay, I'm on my way home right now. And as I'm going to leave the parking lot, the way that I used to go, there's a light post. There's like the the, the driveway part, a lamp post, more parking lot and another lamp post, but there's like 50 or 60 feet between the two lampposts or something like that. 
and I misjudged the distance between the front end of my car and the light post. So my Nissan was totaled, um, essentially is what happened that day. I had to call my boss at the time and ask her like, can you come get me? Cause my mom can't and I need to get home cause I'm worried about my mom having a stroke and stuff cause of this and this and this and this. She's like, yeah, 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 I'm on my way. I'll come get you right now. Okay. I get home. I literally, like, I run into the house, and I am shaking so bad that Nate is like, Shanna, what is wrong? Are you okay? I'm like, where's mom? Where's mom? Where's mom? And, you know, I look, and she, oh my god, it was just a shit show of a day that day. Um, so that all happened. And then, you know, time went on. I kept working and stuff, and I just, right now I'm working this past week so the week ending and yesterday because today is sunday the 21st so the week ending in the 20th i worked 86 hours i think between both jobs it's a lot like i haven't had well not 86 almost 80 hours this week between the two jobs and it's a lot, you know? Like, I don't get to see my friends very often unless I work with them, which thankfully I do work with most of my friends. So that's not like terrible and everything, but it's just, it's been a lot. So I just wanted to let you guys know like that's what happened and everything. Thankfully, um, I was able to save up enough money to get a, like the down payment on another vehicle. And right now it's a car. It's not an SUV. It is a car. Um, it's a 2019 Chevy Malibu. It's this really pretty blue color. Um, I, I'm really happy with it. It gets great gas mileage. I haven't had any issues with it so far. We're going to knock on wood to keep it that way because I don't want any issues with it. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on with me recently. Is And... Like, good news, I did get um, my PTU passed and everything done. So now I'm just trying to hurry up and get my, um, or at least apply for my license because that way Friday can't fire me for being non-compliant. I'm just trying to figure out how the hell I do it. Um, so that's been fun. Uh, what about family car? Oh yeah. So that same boss who um, came and got me the night of the accident has also just been, she was fired from Family Dollar for not showing up for her shifts too many days in a row. Um, she has started cursing me out and everything on stuff. And it's just like, I don't know what I did because she screwed over everybody in our store with the way that she was doing things. So basically what happened was she blew up. Do not light all my candles, child. I'm lighting them up and blue, but not. She blew up at the district manager, so her boss, and said she was gonna quit, right? District manager managed to pull some strings and get her everything she asked for. She had a pay raise coming. Her cashiers and associates were gonna get a pay raise. She was gonna get more hours so that she could hire people. Um, but she ended up going back to Rite Aid because she was not happy at Family Dollar. And I don't care about the fact that like she quit. What I care about is the fact that she quit the way that she quit, which was she didn't put in a two weeks notice. It left everybody at our store, like, screwed over. Like, Andrew, one of my associates, is working, like, 50 hours a week. I'm working 40. Um, and then everybody else is, like, doing their normal hours because they can't work more than that because they're on SSI and stuff. But it was just really annoying how she went about and did it. And then on top of that, she is texting... She was texting me. I was I blocked her finally. 
she was texting me and basically telling me that I'm a shitty human being mm. and stuff because I was offered mm. her job and I didn't do exactly what she said. Um, I was offered the general manager spot at Family Dollar. I didn't take it because I don't want it at this time. Um, I have been told that there will be other spots available for me if I decide I want to move up in the company, which I might, but not right now. I just, like I said, I just worked really hard to get my state license and everything. I'm doing much faster than I thought I would. I've only been talking for 20 minutes almost, which given how much I normally talk, isn't that much. Hello, Toby. Hi. Um, but... It's just been a very busy last couple months, but I'm going to try really hard now to get back into the swing of things and keep up on my content for you guys, with you guys, because I do miss so much doing this all the time. Like, I genuinely got enjoyment from doing this. This was my form of therapy. It was a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour even that I could take to do things for myself i'm gonna do my mascara really quick all right but yeah so that was basically the really short version of what's been going on with me lately um if you guys like my videos please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up like i said i'm gonna get back into the swing of things um if you guys have any ideas about what you would want to see please leave them down in the comments down below and yeah if you guys like my content subscribe it really helps me out all right thank you bye